Hey guys, it's Tommy. Welcome back to Reese Fam TV. Uh, today I'm going to go over a couple things on the old 2010 Jeep Wrangler. Let's get to it. Today, that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to hit you up. We're going to discuss the uh, bumper there and the uh, Angry Bird grill and also talk to you a little bit about the uh, D-rings. Um, might get into the to the lights a little bit but um yeah so the bumper um obviously that is not factory okay that's a little bit of heavy duty stuff there i'd say right That's your uh, spot. You put a nice array of lights on that. Your uh, winch. Uh, I'm thinking about doing lights and winch right now. Blue Goose, she's a little dirty today. I apologize, but um, yep, 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 yep. Give me one second here. All right. Pardon me for that. Pardon me for that. But um. I just wanted to get up here. I'll um show you this the grill real quick. Give it a little tour of that puppy. Um and again obviously that is not the factory grill. Uh, refer to that as the Angry Bird Grill, uh, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. And I'm gonna tell you, that is probably the number one thing that I get the most compliments about on my Jeep, um, is this freaking grill here. Um, and I'll tell you this too, mine is a little bit different than any others I've seen um, in the fact that these eyebrows are a little bit different. Um, and also I believe there's a, if I remember right, it's a little different. Uh, is it that there's a, something about the over the blinker maybe i don't know there's there's something else different um my this grill has a little something extra on it um compared to the others um i can't it might be a little extra notch in the for some reason mine looks a little extra angry i don't know in my opinion i mean i could be wrong i could be totally wrong i don't know but anyway um, that's just my opinion. And if you think differently, you leave a comment below. Um, and, uh, but just look at, uh, how my eyes are in the mouth, you know, or what, you know, claim to be the mouth, right? That area. And, you know, I mean, you can kind of see the, the grunt or the grunt of it and why they call it the angry you know, got that going on. But um, anyway, uh, you pop off the factory. Um, you're gonna lose some clips. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But um, the and I suppose every um, aftermarket that you get 
is going to give you uh, some type of uh, little extra kit maybe but mine did come with uh, extra tabs so I mean I don't know if every kit does but I can say this particular one did um, and again uh, I'm gonna tell you I got this from uh, I know you guys have heard me <laughs> talk about this enough AliExpress man I'm telling you AliExpress um, I had to wait um, uh, I think it was three weeks for it maybe which isn't bad I mean you know a matter of fact I also want to say it was even November when um, I ordered it um, so you know but anyway uh, Aliexpress is that uh, Aliexpress.com is that uh, Chinese website but anyway um, it came with extra tabs put it in now that is not the the big deal like I was saying, lose a couple of them, big deal. You got replacements, okay? The difficult part is these freaking wires, okay? You're gonna have to, there's some parts here, you're gonna have to put them behind through here. Um, I'm just advising you now, just be careful. Um, also, cosmetically, um, just let you know now too, if you're gonna freak out, if you're gonna have these kind of little bolts, okay? Um, they're going to be visible. So, uh, you could probably, uh, spray paint them black. I mean, I'm not, you know, that big of a freak over it. Okay. I mean, this is, this is what they look like guys. So, I mean, I'm not that big of a freak over it. So, uh, and maybe you, you might not even notice if I hadn't told you. Um, but let me check it out, okay? I didn't tell you about it. Check out my awesome grill, man. Yeah, all right. Oh, dude, I love it. That's freaking awesome, man. So sweet, I wanna get one of those, yeah. Oh, dude, that's true. Uh, but the problem, man, you know, I mean, these, uh, these screws, dude, I mean. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Not. But anyway, so I lost it. But anyway, that's it, guys. Then uh, the bumper, check them out. Now this particular one, uh, like I said, uh, came on the Jeep when I purchased it. I purchased this used, um, but it did come on the Jeep when I bought it. Okay. But I did uh, happen to find the uh, receipt in the glove box. Um, and homeboy paid way too much. <laughs> um, but he had it done. shop in town a four by four shop um, so uh, basically just um, be a boat down boat off and uh, now I did do the uh, D rings myself um, Got a little story behind that, but the uh, bumper um, you can get now. This is also since going on now. This is a popular bumper, and I'll show you this too. Um, kind of has a little grade to it, which I like. Check it out. Boom! Give you a push. You know what I'm saying? Get off me. So um, you do have a little bit of push from your vehicle. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like uh, rolling up on. Um, if you do hit a deer, 
you know, I'm in uh, Little Charleston, South Carolina area, and we got some of the back road, we got some deer running across in uh, that right there. Hopefully, is designed to catch it, boom, and flip it. You like that? Flip it. Did it make you sick? Flip it. I don't know that. <laughs> but, uh, so that's what it's done. But anyway, um, good solid. Listen up. Boom! Um, but anyway, it's got a couple nice mounts. Check it out. Boom. Boom. Right there. Um, and I mean, shoot, you could probably do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And uh, do some other stuff down there. But anyway, um, put your, um, your winch. You can put some lights, whatever, right in there. Um, now, like I was telling you, and I'll get into further later on, the LEDs, I've got the headlights in. Gonna be doing the uh, parks, uh, the fogs. May, when I do my winch, gonna uh, may save that for another video. But anyway, um, hit you up on these D rings real quick. Check it out. So, funny story. I think I told it in the vid already, but anyway, real quick, like these things, <laughs> so funny is uh, you got to pay extra for red, man. Can't believe it. Extra for red. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. But uh, you can get them in black, blue. Uh, I can't remember all the other colors they have. But anyway, no problem, man. You can get them. Uh, I can't remember what the price was, but let's say, you know, uh, $15, you know, and uh, get them all day long, $15, $15, yeah, okay. Well, I want them to rent, oh, red, oh, that's uh, $24.95, what? Yeah, I don't know. So, um, anyway, I got them in whatever it was, blue or black, whatever, and uh, I got me some red spray paint. And I put now, I will say, you may get some net, but check it out. Whatever color was on there, like I said, the black or, uh, you know, gray, blue, whatever, it nicked off too. So <laughs> it really didn't matter. Whatever color is going to nick anyway. Um, but I put like three or four coats on there. Um, go check it out, man. I mean, holding up fine, in my opinion. Right? I mean, come on. Huh? That's a whole paint job, baby. Spray paint. Spray paint. But, uh, yeah. So, I did what well, they wanted to charge an extra, I think it was $10, $12. Um, I did with a $2.49 uh, can of uh, spray paint. So, yeah, man. But that's my little saving tip on that red stuff. I don't know why they want to charge so much for red. Um, same thing I did with, um, like in the video I was telling you, uh, with my... My dead pedal over there. Same thing. Uh, I got that in black. And because uh, they want to charge me an extra $10, 15 for red. But, yep. All right, guys. Well, that's it. And uh, I sure do appreciate the support and uh, everything you guys do for the channel. And I uh, just want to say peace out. Till next time.